And we're back into the cutthroat jungle. Yeah, this guy, he swears a lot. He's like, what the bleep? Who the bleep are you? Get over here. Alright, so yeah, this is Torin. He's an interesting guy. I forget where you find resources, but yeah. Ah, uh, there he is. Ooh, we have our first double battle. A pitworm tunneler and a dusk crusader. Let's start with him, because he's going to be the most annoying. Okay, we got it. Now let's inspect. So this creature, at the start of each enemy's turn, this creature deals damage to them equal to 10% of its attack. That can be powerful if you're a high-level creature. Maybe using this creature to help kill off weak creatures, training a bunch of weaker creatures. What I'm saying is if this creature, this... Um, what is this? Yeah, whatever it is. Our first interest, now that we have that core, is to kill that. There. Alright. I got lots of experience from that battle. Quite a bit of resources. Cool. Alright, the god of anger. So yeah, we don't know who he is, and he is Torrin. Now we can receive a realm quest. Each time we enter this realm, there are short optional quests for you to complete. They're pretty easy usually. Like sometimes you have to destroy a bunch of mushrooms or something. Alright, so he hates the imps, so when we come here, we have to find mushrooms for the imps. Like this. So yeah, we have multicolored mushrooms. Oh, hello. Let's take care of this. And the new creature. It is an autumn aspect. Oh, it's not new. Well, it is. That's why this battle is going to be on for you guys to see. So I can actually hold my E key, which is the key I use for actions, and it will automatically proceed through the battle, so we can go through these battles pretty quick. So we're getting 3% power, power balance every battle, it seems. And these are some nicer battles, because there's more than one enemy. Uh-oh. Ooh, glad I went up there. Relic of Bleeding. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way. Oh, there's some fruit and some mushrooms. So we're capturing the mushrooms for eventually finding huts. Yeah, those are the mushrooms. Ah. All right. I think this will be a battle we've already dealt with, so I'll be back. All right. Yeah, that battle was indeed one we dealt with, so we're gonna skip. There's a Dusk Crusader and another Ogre thing. Ah, here we are. Uh-oh. Hey, we'll show this battle. Oh, nice. Nice! Got them both. So yeah, the totems can either cause this to happen when you fight some creatures. Or he'll automatically get rid of it instead. And another one. I'll show this battle, why not? Alright, we got that. I'm essentially extracting whatever I can, because it's good to have a lot of cores on hand. Pretty much I'm going to extract whatever I can when I can, except in boss battles, because the first boss battle, two random creatures will be with him, and I don't always find it worthwhile. But yeah, Soul Extraction 3, that's why. It's worthwhile. Hmm, Rogue Stormers. Hmm. Must be something I'm following. Alright, oh, we have another one of these. Let's see. Yeah, so this time you just got rid of it. Oh, I see something good. A map. Oh, there's a creature over there. Let's take a look at this map. Right, let's go deal with this creature. Alright, let's see who it is. Alright, that wasn't too bad. That was a pretty simple battle. I don't see an X anywhere on the map. Hmm. Ooh, a level 2 minor sigil of the Doomguard. Nice. 
I haven't actually seen the huts yet, but they're around here somewhere. Hey, look what we found. Alright, what class does the pitworm tunneler belong to? I think he is nature. Nope. So, I'm not perfect. Oh, we have a fortress here. I will deal with All that. Right. Yep, those more strongholds. There was two of them this time. I wonder where that X could be. Red Amber. Multicolored mushrooms. We found a lot of mushrooms. Take a look down here to make sure our X isn't in the area that we've already explored. Wouldn't want to uh, miss it. Alright. We'll come up from here. That is a mushroom. Alright, I'm glad we found that. Oh, we found a recipe. Let's see. Any skeleton plus any Dijon equals a delirious ghoul. That's interesting. Yeah, finding those is good. We'll need them a little. Find a lot. Now, we might discover some recipes on our own once we learn how to breed. I don't know. I haven't reached that far. I never actually conquered this first boss. I was trying to record for the next episodes, and again, I sort of had some problems, and... Then I lost the file, I was like, well, we can always start fresher, and I feel a lot more refined and skilled, so. Let's see what this battle is, shall we? Alright, that was an interesting battle. Yeah, different abilities have different effects in the game, like, as we've seen already, the Dusk Crusader um, has Amalgamine, and then this creature, the Valkyrie, their fight or flight, which is really nice. So, having two of them really helps deal with creatures that have Amalgamine, so the Dusk Crusaders that I deal with. Which I've seen a few. They're not nearly as problematic. Alright, let's see. Oh, we have some creatures. Let me see if they're new. And we have a new one. A spinning arachnalisk and an iron golem. I'm going to show this battle. I don't know if we've dealt with arachnalisk, so... Yeah, we all got poison, because this guy poisons. I guess I could kill him. There. Yeah, what he does is, the longer he's in battle, the longer we get poisoned. I think all he has to do is attack. Everybody gets poisoned. Oh my god. Alright, fine. There. That was taking forever to get that core. This iron gold probably has a lot of defense, so he'd make a good tank. Always nice to show a battle here and there. We have 183. Yeah, you got lots of favor. So. You see, it's a 1,500 favor for the next level. It goes up quite a bit. Alright, let's proceed to the right. I haven't seen the X. Oh, there's the X down there. Let's hit that way. We found our first hut. Alright, let's see if this is a new battle. And after that battle, we have a creature at level 5. Ooh, we have a new battle. This is an autumn guy. Let's see what else he's with. Might be new. And after that battle, King Conyard reached level 5. And we have a handful of essence right there. Sorcery repellent. Or fruit. Alright, there's something. Alright, we got a handful of crystal. That's why you want to eat the fruits. Alright, so let's come over this way first. There's... There's the X. Uh, right there? Right there. It's a pandemonium token, a curio of silence, yellow amber, and a handful of crystal. Well, let's see if we can deal with these imps. The neighbor imps don't give us rainbow field goods, you take them by force. Ah, uh, we have rainbow field good mushrooms. Alright, there's that one. And of course, by dealing with him, we get favor, eventually. Ooh, a breeding, a breeding compendium. Wall giant plus tower giant equal a colossus giant. Interesting. Ah, we can take care of that. Let's see. Anything over here? Nope. Now well, we know that there's some stuff down to the south, so let's take a look. That's empty. A heavy shield. Ooh, let's take a look at that. 
So that's under artifacts. A heavy shield. Defense 16. It also has fanaticism. Interesting. Uh, buffs. So these are all the buffs we've seen so far. And debuffs. We might go through that at some point. Uh, traits. There it is. Spit poison, fight or flight, and amalgamy are the only traits we've got. These are all the things we've got this time around. These are all the breeding. We have a Valkyrie champion, so if we get a Wyvern, we could make a Valkyrie champion. That'd be nice. Uh, we have Mav 1. Alright, we gained 300 favor. Alright, that was easy. Again, you just have to go around, find all the idiot mushrooms. Alright. And I like how the music gets all cheerful a bit. Yeah, a little more cheery, we've helped the god here. Alright, blue amber, another one of those, more brimstone. I believe that's everything here, so let's go meet with this man. The statue. It makes me think of a Moai statue. <laughs> if you're ugly up close, he says. Well, you're not exactly a great sight yourself. Well, we're respected. Great. Make yourself useful. Take this yippity yappity imp out of my sight. And he does not like imps, apparently. But we get an imp hexer. Nice. Yeah, so every time we come here, the main thing to deal with is imps. And a quick and it'll always be a little quest. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. <laughs> There's fruit and trees and... Oh, all the little imps. <laughs> Apparently he does not like the imps. That's obvious. And that's okay for us because we can deal with imps. We haven't actually seen any imp creatures, surprisingly. Now, depth 3 will put us to the boss. I'm not sure... Let's see our creatures. Let's see level five, four, 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 and five. So one of our creatures is level five. The other three are level four. Uh, see, the thing about the boss is you're never really sure if you're strong enough. And he's not tough, tough, but he is still frustrating to deal with. Well, the problem is we're already beyond the depth level 2. Let me check the time. Alright, I guess we'll save that for the next video. And, uh, we might as well teleport to realm depth 3. But I am going to save here on camera. Alright, next time we challenge the boss. Can we do it? Find out then. See you. In the next episode of Serial M2, Kanye under Chaos Construct Design. See ya.